From self-doubt to self-love. When I was younger, my parents got divorced and it was kind of an ugly divorce and I was the middle kid. It was a little harder on my sister, but boy, it was really rough and there wasn't a lot of reinforcement in those days. And so I had to, to find my own way. How could I discover my own self-worth? How could I learn to love myself? Well, man, I had a lot of self-doubt because I wasn't doing that well in school. I wasn't very good at sports. And, you know, I had friends, but they had their problems. And so, you know, it's, it's a journey, right? Self-doubt can really hold you back, but self-love can set you free. And one day I realized, boy, if, if I don't love myself first, who the hell else is going to do that? Who, if I'm waiting for someone else to love me first, if I'm waiting for that validation, if I'm waiting for that reinforcement, if I'm waiting for those, those golden words, I could be waiting a long time. And I realized, you know, what if I just love myself just the way I am? Yeah, I'm a mess. Yeah, I got problems. I got to make some, you know, can certainly improve myself. But this idea that I could love myself first, I mean, this is the journey of moving from self-doubt to self-love. And I want you to be on that journey as well. I want you to share your story. Put it in the comments. You know, let's spread positivity. Let's spread self-love together. Because the more of us who truly can love, accept, and forgive ourselves, the more of us who can repair ourselves and then repair our society. But it's got to start from within. And if you're waiting for Superman to show up or somebody else to deliver a skywriting message other than surrender Dorothy like you are perfect, you're going to be waiting a long time. But the one person who can really grant that magic wish is yourself. See ya.